Good morning, Heavenbound family, and all that may be watching. This is Pastor Larry with a moment in the Word on this, the Sunday, and it is the 8th of uh, August, and uh, hey, this is the Lord's Day. I trust that you will enter His house with thanksgiving, that you'll enter His courts with praise, that you will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Last night we began a study about, uh, in Revelation chapter 1, there at verse 3, where it says, Blessed are they who read and who hear and who do the things which are written uh, uh, in the prophecy of this book. And um, we talked about why is it that, um, why are we blessed if we read and hear and do the things written in the book? Um, and um, we mentioned last, uh, uh, yesterday morning that, uh, Three things that uh, are reasons why we're blessed is uh, the blessings that he bestows upon us there in chapter one, and that he's made us to be kings and priests with him. He has uh, washed us with his own blood and has made us uh, to be kings and priests and we are, uh, with him. Uh, and then we go into the seven churches. We mention uh, the blessings there at Church of Ephesus, the blessings of the church there at uh, Pergamos, and the blessings of the church there uh, the, our, let me go back, Church of Ephesus, the Church of Smyrna, and the church at um, uh, Pergamos. Uh, tonight, I want to look at the other four, and I'm not going to spend the time that we spent last night. We'll try to make this short, uh, uh, but uh, let me just read to you the blessings that, that is promised to these last four churches if they endure. Here in chapter 2, verse 26, talking to the church of Thyatira, um, he says, but that which you have already hoped till I come, verse 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as a vessel of powder shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Now, this is interesting uh, in the sense that he had told the church at Pergamos uh, there that um, uh, or not the Church of Pergamum, I'm sorry, in the first chapter in, in verse uh, uh, 5 and 6 there, that he's going to make us kings and priests, uh, that we're going to reign with him. He, he'll confirm that in Revelation chapter 5, but we'll look at that later. Uh, and, and here he says to the Church of Thyatira that uh, if they're faithful, if they endure to the end, then they're going to rule over the nations uh, during that millennial reign. And... Um, it says, in, uh, we go into chapter 3, the first church is Sardis. Sardis represents the church age from about 1500, 1520, down to about 1700. And um, uh, this is uh, the Reformation. Uh, they bring about the uh, uh, doctrine of justification by faith, but they still haven't become missionary-minded and uh, uh there's much squabbling in between the churches there. For example, um, uh, when they come from England or when they come from uh, Switzerland or where they come from, uh, uh, different ones, the pilgrims there, uh, you know, um, uh, there was just a lot of squabbling. There was no really missionary uh, effort. And uh, he says here, under the angel of the church of Sardis write these things, saith he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect unto God. There was much division among the church. They escaped the persecution of the state churches back in Europe, but uh, almost uh, a tried to establish the saints here and praise God for our founding fathers who uh, understood the danger of a state church and made it impossible in our constitution for any, for there to be any state uh, church or religion. Uh, but we're talking about the blessings. Look in verse 4. He says, Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not uh, defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and 
I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church is. Uh, and then we have the church of Philadelphia. This is uh, the second of only two of the churches that uh, receive no reprimand from Christ, nothing but praise. And what is the reward for the church of Philadelphia? If you look down about verse 10, he says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, meaning the tribulation period, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillow in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon uh, him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from the God. I will write upon him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And then we come to the final church, that is the church of Laodicea. The backslidden church, if you will, uh, they're just to give you an introduction. He says in verse 15, uh, I know thy works. This is chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with the goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white remnant, that thou mayest be clothed, that the, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyesight, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I come. Behold, I stand at the door, not if any man hear my voice, and open the door, I will come into him, and will fellowship with him, and he with me. Look at verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as also I am set, I am uh, over, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father at his throne. Uh, for what a blessing, uh, we're going to get to live with Christ, we're going to get to reign with Christ, we're going to get to uh, um, rule over the nations, we're going to get to, we're going to have a special name given to us that uh, uh, nobody else will have or nobody else will know except us so that when Christ calls us, we'll know he's talking to us, we're going to be dressed in white remnant, uh, and, um, and there are many more that we maybe will discuss in the uh, coming days. Uh, but uh, these are some of the reasons why uh, it, it, blessed is he who reads and he who hears the prophecies of this book and he that doeth the things that are written therein. Our friend, if we read, if we hear, if we do, uh, then we'll be assured of numerous blessings that God has for us. We'll Look further at them uh, as we kind of just thumb through uh, the uh, book of Revelations and look at some of the promises that God makes to those who are faithful, those who will stay true to him to the end. Hey, this is Pastor Larry on this Sunday morning. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Go to God's house. Worship him. Hey, he promises that if two or three are gathered together, he'll be in the midst. He says here in Revelation chapter 1 that he is walking in the midst of the churches there. You want to you want to visit with Jesus? Uh, come out to his house this morning. He'll be there. Uh, and uh, you may not see him walking up and down the aisles, but you can experience his blessings and his presence if you come with the mind to worship God. Again, the psalmist said, let us enter his gates with thanksgiving, uh, enter his courts with praise. Know ye that uh, he is God. Uh, it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are the sheep of his pasture. And uh, our friend, we ought to give him praise and glory and honor. Go out today and do that and God will bless you. Uh, God's people will bless you. 
and you will be blessed as you bless them and as you bless God. Have a wonderful Lord's Day. Uh, this is the eighth day of August. Be blessed.